Wait. There we go. Ah! Whoa. Oh my gosh. Let's get this club. Let's look at the flag set for this club, because I haven't done that yet. All I know is enemy unknown, and I was like, yes, please. No Edward. Bye, Edward. Rip Edward. Goodbye. He's gone. It is... <laughs> Our bosses are sort of random. It's five bosses, wreck four, win game. Okay, I can do that. K-Main. Force Magma. No summon. I thought it was supposed to be K-Main summon, but if it's just K-Main, I'm okay with that. Let me double check. Okay, yeah, just came in. I just read the rule, the thing wrong. Great. Okay. The standard, no free. Vessel Kane or Edge will start. Always, we've got Kane today. No Edward. Who is restricted? Uh, J abilities, no dupes. Wildish. A standard. Okay, wildish standard, great. Uh, Hoggle. It's probably not worth going for any of the, like, super, super high tier loot because. The way. Because of the win game nature and the lack of needing a grind ever. Probably. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, I can have all the characters I want. S standard, no apples. Understandable. B e standard, witch burn. Witch burn's on. It's great. Wyvern can only imitate plague with uh, enemy with witch burn, so there's not that much danger of being of witch burn being bad here. Uh, e toggle, warp life, self back row. Veteran freedom kits to start. Super Smith's on. Who is vanilla? But if I find him, he's real good. And it's Enemy Unknown. Okay. I think I've got a strategy. Which is uh, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna just kinda do a little looting early on and then charge through the seed, depending on who I get. But Kane's gonna need a little looting to get him going. So yeah. Let's see how this works. Also, I changed my stream layout slightly. I just swapped the tracker and the that around. Okay, Edge also would like some loot, but it's not as important. Guarding Harp. I mean, that's going to be not something that I should check early, but I will probably check it early-ish, just because Harp. Thanks for the encouragement, Warwink. I'm looking forward to it. I love the enemy unknown wacky. So when I saw this club, I was like, I'm going to try to make this work. I'm going to try to get this club run if I can. Uh, Watery or Eblin? Watery, I think. Freaky item is on. Never mind, we go there first. I'm assuming they're not all going to be on the overworld with, you know, four bosses. Four to five, unlikely that all four of them show up on the overworld, you know. Or ungated checks. Okay. And... Should be very aggressive with my boss checks. Grimoire. Very good. We'll have a weapon for Kane. Probably had to watery after this. I mean, I don't get a weapon for him. That's all I really care about. Ninja Sword's really good. Love that. I'm not gonna climb Zot, that seems dumb.
Heck, shopping. Don't have time for shopping. Who has time for shopping these days? No shopping, only... Running from boss check to boss check. This is wildest, so we should get some good stuff here. Blizzard Spear, I think, will satisfy me. Since it's win game, I think Blizzard Spear is good enough. Especially with a Ninja Sword for Edge, like, I honestly think this is probably enough loot. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's enough. We're gonna go with this. And start killing bosses and... See how far I can get. Playing on the jettier side. Uh, let's hit back, actually. Because I don't have anything for Cecil if he shows up. I would like a little bit more strength gear. That long sword is nice. You know, getting a second edge weapon that's decent is good. Okay, that's some money. I don't know that I care that much. Heck shopping. The long sword I think is worth it overall. I think. Let's try to get another character first. Uh, heck, the fire shield, but the samurai shield will work. Wizard spear, karate gi I saw in here. Nope. Okay. Hobbs. Who's hiding on Hobbs? Well, do I care to find out who's hiding here? Palum is great. We take Palum. Who are you? Not particularly weak to ice. Normal amount of hit points. All it did was punch three times. Took more than three hits. Was that D-Mist? That might have been D-Mist. Definitely not any of the bosses on our list. Tentatively, I'm going to put that as D-Mist. Because it only punched three times. I only gave it the opportunity to punch three times, so... No clue... It's something else, but it died with the normal amount of hits, so... That also... You know, that eliminates Mom Bomb if Mom Bomb wasn't already an objective. Why am I looting things? Also, Palin... You need some stuff. I have nothing for Palin. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that D mist. <laughs> I would have seen things otherwise, I think. Oh. You're a singleton? Are you weak to ice? You're punching. You punched once, you're not weak to ice. Normal normal HP. So not one of our obje Oh. 
Octomam, you're terrible. <coughs> you're terrible at hiding. Goodbye, Octomam. <coughs> mm. I'm like 90% sure that Demist was the one on Hobbs. We're gonna skip Waterfall for now. Mist Cave, let's destroy you real quick. We're trying to go for Baronin. All I know is it's a single target boss. So that tells me no information. Not an objective, though. So we killed some mystery boss here. Uh, it wasn't, it couldn't have been, it was a single target boss that wasn't Mom Bomb or Val or Mylon. Never got a turn, so I don't know what it would do. It just died. Edge is doing real well, considering he's in the back row and he's not back row glitched. Like, I gotta say... He is tearing things up. We're gonna take a heal here just to make sure Palum doesn't die. But Edge, Kane, and Palum should be able to handle this fight. They're pr they're pretty strong. If anyone figures out, I'm gonna be. Chatting it up in the async, uh, in the spoiler room afterwards, trying to figure out who the heck was there. Uh, this is very good, yes, give me... Give me these things. Who are you? Dark Imps. Goodbye, Dark Imps. Your shape revealed itself to me. Okay, one target. Weak to ice? No. No weakness whatsoever. One punch so far. Second punch. second time before I start throwing spells with you. Third punch. All I can think of is that you're either Odin or Mom Bomb, so I may as well use Lightning, lightning here. Oh, no, you're dead. Oh, Odin could have been that other one. I'm gonna mark Odin. Because that's the other punchy boss that I've fought. That does three punches. 
Because I've now fought two of them, so one of them was Demas, the other one was Odin, I think. Given that they didn't have fight counters. Oh, Ant Lion's out, out of the picture. Uh, yeah, let's save and then go into Baron Castle. Gated character checks are good. Sid, do I have anything that you can use? Uh, sure. That's probably going on Palin. <laughs> Since it's enemy unknown, I'll take it a little safe. I think Odin and Demist are gone. I think. We have a Baron key already. I know Dimps and Octo, I know I've, and then I killed some other boss that exists. Oh! Dark Elf! Hi Dark Elf! That's a little annoying, but it's fine. We're gonna me-change you before you get to piggy anyone, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even hit Sid. Goodbye, Sid. That's fine. These are the three I care about anyway. Yeah, I knew that was Dark Elf. Oh, I want the Rune Ring on Palom, actually. No, don't protect Ring you. Protecting you. Did? Poison next time. And I'm actually gonna bother life using a life pod and some cure twos. Make sure Sid can actually contribute. Because Poison Axe is decent in the middle slot. Okay, who's our king? What are you doing first? Oh, that was a pause. Ah. Oh my goodness, I wonder who this could be. I have no idea who I'm fighting right now. There's no way I could possibly know. How could I possibly figure out what boss I'm fighting? Ow!
Well, that's done. No objectives here. Dang it, not Fu. Gosh darn it, it's just young. Ugh. Didn't want young. Not who I was looking for. I know there's a vanilla Fu out there somewhere and I want him. But that was like the opposite of Fu. Ordeals is up next, I think. Because three bosses. Or actually I could do the Fabul sweep. Let's do the Fabul sweep. Heck Baron Basement for now. I can't beat I can't beat it anyway, so there's no point in really checking it at the moment. I'll check it maybe before I go back underground. The wrong key item. Yeah, let's go underground. Check. Uh They march freebie. They march bosses. Just identify them. Give me one second. Okay. We're also going to be poison walking. Yay, poison walking. I guess I'll go to Tamra first just to check on our job dwarf. Maybe I'll go shopping too. Hey, that was good. Uh, I don't want this actually. I also don't want any of these things. officer today. <laughs> Gotta stock up on the high tier items. With Dark Imps gone already, I'm not worried too much about coffins. But also, Ninja Long Edge just feels like he's good enough. Let's throw the full moon on you to back row you. Zip through here. Okay. That stick for Palin, finally. Luka Key, that's another check. Don't want to do that until I get uh, warp. Just getting out of there takes forever. Let's see what you do. What is your opening move? That's the first thing I want to determine. Oh. Don't care. Goodbye, Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, Leviathan kind of reveals itself. The opening move can tell you a lot, so it's still worth peeking these. And then if I can get a fight counter off. Oh, goodbye. I heard that audio cue. Goodbye. I am not fighting that evil wall. I know it has nothing behind it, so I'm not fighting it. Lightsaber is Cess actually makes Cecil interesting. An option. Yes, let's throw some strength rings on. Oh no, I can't because my inventory's full. I can inventory. You strong. Now let's make you strong. Heck young. Just heck young. I don't care about young. Got a Luka key, I'm not gonna chase. Any March bosses are checked at least, so there's nothing else there. The self cave cleared. I'll probably do yeah, twin harp I might do on the oval on this overworld trip. Where deals is higher priority. Like it's Fabul and then Ordeals, basically. A bull just to try and increase routing efficiency in other places, and then probably your deals. Dwarf Castle is also pretty high up there on things I'd like to do. Really, I should probably do Dwarf before Twin Harp, but I don't know. I'd like to do as much as I can on the overworld while I'm up here this time. It made sense to do the early underground dip. Get a little bit of boss info, get some key items. Single dip for bull. I love single dip for bull. So yeah, we'll sweep through for bull. I should check waterfall soon. I know I haven't checked the waterfall boss yet, and that would be a good one to just knock out quickly. Make sure that I don't leave that for forever. Love that Octomam just completely lost this hide and seek. Uh, championship. Like, really, Octomium? Hi, Antlion. Hi, Antlion. Okay. So another boss that's not an objective, but that's fine. Beat it. Cool stun, give me your check. And I probably need darkness for go mode. Boon's not what I'm looking for, but I guess I'll take it. Another point towards 10 key items, which is... Still nice, I guess. You know, levels are good. I just don't think they're like that worth it early on. Like out of my way for. Darkness, so I now have access to everything that I need. Adamant, so I can forge. Okay. How do I want to route this? I mean, there's no progression on the moon, it's just bosses. But it is a lot of bosses. Ordeals first, before anything else. 
There's three bosses, there is too good to pass up. Then Dwarf Castle. Maybe a moon character check, actually. After ordeals. Yeah, moon character and then Dwarf Castle, I think. I think that's what I want to do. I think I'm done looting. I feel good about how aggressive I've been taking this. Like, I really feel good. Oh, I don't want... Mm. Nah, Dwarf Castle's probably fine. Okay, single target. Oh. Maybe we don't fight. Oh, there we go. Stream died for a little bit there because I think the server went down that I was connected to or something. It's fine. I'm back. Pretty sure it was the server. Like, the server I was streaming to just completely crashed. Everything's fine. Let's get back to running this async. Uh, DKC is gone. That's what happened. I paused left as soon as DKC was dead. Punchy. Oh. Oh. Okay. I know who you are now. Goodbye, Young. Bye, D-Lunars. Okay. Forging soon would be good as well. Still haven't found another boss though. Getting annoying now. Look at all the bosses I've killed. I've even killed one bonus mystery boss that's single target, but not an objective. Which could be Mylon Z at this point, or Karate. Uh, that's gross. It opens up some extra check. Some extra boss checks I don't really want to do. Nope, you are... Oh, hello. We found... we found... a boss. Yeah, the double punch from the d winners told me it was probably them or Baron Guards, I think is what I was thinking at that point. And then I re as soon as I saw the fires, I was like, oh, okay. d winners Well, that was basically nothing on ordeals. Other than kind of grossness, I have to keep the hook. Because it gates two bosses. I think I go for the characters. Um, 
Moon, then Dwarf, then Hook. No. Hook first. Because I want Warp for Dwarf, and I don't... I'm not close to that yet. Moon is probably going to be required, so it's worth sitting through this cutscene. I mean, odds are... Well, odds are good one of them is up there. Odds aren't great that two of them are up there. <laughs> but it's entirely possible, and I've cleared so much of the seed already with one boss to show for it. I think either Mylon Z, Karate, Keinazo, or Ruby was at Mist Cave. Or Bahamut. Or Ogo, I suppose. Or Wyvern, even. Failed him. Yeah, all of them could have been at Mist Cave. I am now very curious who's at Mist Cave. Or who was at Mist Cave. I have to check Waterfall still. No, that would be a smart thing to check. Like the Waterfall Cave that I haven't done yet. I'll do that when I race the Hovercraft, actually. I'm gonna do that soon. Heck off with your Ether 2s. Why would I want Ether 2s? What do those do for me? Oh, we're also at 10 key items, so I should spend my sirens soon. Hey, main is wild. You just get to 10 key items so quickly. Goodbye. No second, Sid. I don't want you. Heck, second Sid. Waterfall, let's see what's, what you have. Single target. Punching. With three punches. Odds are looking good for... Failed him. It's failed him. I don't need to fight you. You're failed him. You know what? Let's just do the hook route. Is there- do I have a good reason to do the hook route? No. Is it two unknown bosses? Yes. So we're gonna do the hook route. The bosses I'm leaving behind on the overworld are, uh, Magnus, Zot1, and Baron Basement. I'm fine with those fades. Again, wouldn't really want to fight any of those bosses at this point anyway. And I'm probably not going to grind up to new white sort of stuff, but...
not what I meant to buy. Like, I'm probably not going to do a big grind, but may as well use, get some sirens. So that I can do a big grind if I want to. I'll probably do a grind before the moon, not up to like... Maybe I'll take it up to nuke with Pal and the party, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. Probably not, it's gonna save time overall. Yeah, we'll do this. This'll get me some extra experience as well before Dwarf Castle, which is good. Rosa is joining the party because she's a white mage and I don't have one of those yet. So yes, we will take Rosa. I think Yang is going by. Yang is going away. I, I don't I don't really care for him at the moment. Yeah, no one, I don't want you low level young. I'd rather have Rose on the team. Here's your stick. Do I have any. Oh, I have Tiara. Wait. And a diamond ring, which is good enough. Let's pull you into the back row as well. Kane, you can go in the front. We'll have a better weapon for Kane, but I just don't have one. Let's check this hook route out, see what bosses are down here. Actually, you know what would be smart? I don't have exit anyway. I'm going through the hook route. I'm committed. Never mind. I was like, it would be, what would be smart is leaving a save so I can reset back and exit. And then I realized I don't have exit, so it doesn't matter. Rosa is not an exit mage. Neither are any of my other characters. But we're doing the hook route. No matter what, we're gonna plow through both bosses. Hook 2 might be a little scary, but it'll be fine. Honestly, they both could be a little scary. We've got Edge. First boss. Oh, your wyvern. I was like, wait a minute, what is this? What boss does that? And then I realized what it was and I was like, oh no. Uh, Kane's dead, that's okay. We'll throw a life pot with someone other than Edge, because Edge is way too useful. Rosa has a life staff, so she can revive folks for free. Go, Rosa. Dang it, Rosa. Trying to keep people alive so that I don't lose edge to nuke attrition. Okay. Not edge. As long as it's not edge, that's all I care about. Keep taking swings. Wyvern only has 6,000 health here. That's really bad, actually. Okay. We're fine. That was Wyvern. 
Def definitely Wyvern. And wait for that confirmation. No, that's not Baron Guards. Oh. No? What is this then? That's who that is. Very bad Grimoire roll. Pretty sure that's also a pretty bad Grimoire roll. Dead yet. Virus will kill that one. We made it through. Okay. I'll take the extra levels, please. Let's get Rosa online. That's enough for Berserk as well. Palum gets Quake off of this as well, which is good. I like Quake. No value here, though. That's unfortunate. Okay. No point in peeking the top of tower, it's... it's you don't get information from peeking. I'm not climbing up tower for a boss, that just feels bad. Not at this point. Let's forge and then go check out Dwarf. I don't know how much I care about the warp glitch. If I'm going to be checking Sealed Cave soon, anyway. Because realistically, I think Palum gets warp off of the experience from Dwarf and Sealed. I think. I think that's true. So. I may as well... Take a quick heal, and then do Dwarf and Sealed. Just finish off the underground stuff. Oh, we were gonna Forge too. Yeah, Forge, Dwarf, Sealed. Finish off the underground, minus Tower, because Keyless Tower is kind of gross. I could just take a Siren. I might just take an Egg. That would be the smart play. Take an Egg with Quake. Be done. Take my Adamant and Legend Sword, please. Super Smith's on, so I want to see what I get. You want to dwarf soonish, actually, so that I can, you know, get my character there. Shopping. There's some decent stuff there. Rosa can't even use this. 
That's literally garbage. Thank you, Coco. At least I know I can save up money for a white spear. Of course, worth a decent amount of money, so let's head there. Not gonna worry about using the word glitch. There's also two bosses here, you know. Kind of worthwhile for that reason, too. Two more chances to find a boss. Okay. Okay. Well, I know who you are. You told me who you were, and that's really kind of you. I need to berserk Kane, because Kane is using the proper weapon. Edge is not, I should have given him a full moon. Rude. Mostly for the amount of time it takes, not because it's actually annoying. 42,000 experience. Oh right, we have 10 key items. I forgot. We get tons of experience here. We'll be fine. We're gonna get warp. I forgot that I had 10 key items, so I'm getting double experience from Dwarf Castle. So, so we're gonna get so much experience here. Right, okay. Yeah, we don't need to grind then. So much experience incoming. Next one, you've got you, goodbye. Don't care. Figured it was you three once I saw the shape. Still worth checking the shape first. Yeah, don't do anything, Rosa. You're not worth it. We'll do it this way. Go to Sandy there. And you finish Mindy off. 40,000 more. That should be... Enough for warp. Yep, there's warp. Great. See? Never worried. Warp glitch. Possible, doable now. I mean, I'm gonna do it just because it saves a little bit of time in Sealed Cave, and it means that I can reset out of there without worrying about the item. If I know the boss is dead. I'll still check the boss now. Now-ish, though. I just wanted to wait till I got warp so that I could leave faster if it's valuable. But that was two more bosses that weren't objectives. Wow! Everyone but Octomam is doing a great job this seed. I have to say. Well, that's real nice. We're going there next. Yeah, after a sealed cave. I'm going to peek sealed cave, but then absolutely we're going to Harp Zot. Will I check package? That's a good question. Maybe. Do I want Bacchus Wines? Yes, I, I absolutely want Bacchus Wines if they're available for sale. For this party, yeah, I want Bacchus Wines. I mean, I want a White Spear, but... There's only so much you can get. I don't think I care that much about hourglasses. The so block is not for sale, which means I'm saving up for the white spear for Kane, so that Kane can be useful.
There's nothing down here, but there is going to be something in Harp, in Magnus, and something behind Zot. Probably end up doing Tower before I go to the moon. I'll probably leave Package behind. But that's probably all I'll leave behind. Realistically. Definitely want to at least peek the Baron Basement after Zot. See what's there. I feel like my routing ends up being fairly straightforward on these seeds. Like these K-Main seeds, because I'm just like, I want to stay on the earth and clear things out and check all the bosses. I don't know. Maybe it's not the right play. Maybe they're all up on the moon, but... I feel like the seed pretty naturally lends itself to last locationing CPU and package locations. Like, I don't know. Uh, you're Ogopogo. So, uh, goodbye. Yeah, no, we're not doing that fight. No, thank you. I still have. I feel like I need to remind people. I still have one random unknown boss that I've destroyed in Mist Cave. I have no idea who I killed in Mist Cave. All I know is a single target boss that wasn't an objective. That, that's the extent of what I know. I hit it with- I hit it once, it died. So, you know, one of those bosses won't show up. Yeah. I mean, actually it does, yeah. I mean, it means that it couldn't have been Kaipo Guards, can, uh, Mom Bomb. Hulk Gauntlet, Mylon and Friends, Baron Guards, uh, Bygen, Val, Golbez, King Queen Eblin, CPU, or Plague. Couldn't have been there, in terms of what's left. Like, I know none of those bosses were at Mist Cave. And obviously none of the ones I have marked were at Mist Cave, I think. I'm like 90% sure Demist and Odin were in Baron, were in Hobbs and Baron 2 respectively. Because I had two bosses that did not, had no fight counters and died and had got three punches off before they died, and that's all they did. So I'm like pretty sure that that was Demist and Odin. I'm not 100% sure. Asura might have been one of them. But I think it was Demist Odin. Yeah, no, it would have had to be Demist Odin. I think it was Demist and Odin. Because they were both single targets, only punched. They died with the normal amount of hit points for the spot. So, I mean, even if Mom Bomb wasn't an objective, obviously not Mom Bomb. Aww. Time for some cute music. Well, we know who this is.
Oh, I don't have exit. I guess I'll reset this if this isn't, like, progression. Can't reset that! Warp works in nice ways here, at least. I mean, I have a tower key now. Uh, yes, let's rate the treasury, even though it's an hour in and I definitely don't need this loot anymore. Why not? Let's go raid it. much good stuff in here. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. Gosh dang it, game. Let me equip things. I'd love to give you a sort robe, but my- Oh wait, the sort- No, I can give you a sort robe. Actually, I would love to give you a black shirt. But I can't because my inventory's full. You're gonna get a black shirt. You can have a sword robe. We can have two power hitters. And then you can exist. Yeah. That feels good. No weapons there, but that was actually a pretty decent power up. I mean, the Stardust Rod, I guess, counts as a weapon, you know. Alum appreciates that. I still am amazed that we're missing four bosses after all this. And again, I mean, all I need to make Kane good is save up a hundred and something, thirty thousand gold, and then I can go buy a white spear, and then Kane has a weapon that'll actually be decent. Yeah. Ooh. 
Who is that thought one? Let's find out. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye, Bahamut. Again, another boss that I didn't need, but okay. Bahamut's gone. I should really head up to the moon soon. I mean, I'm gonna do that after Super Cannon, I think. There's my Vanilla Foo. This is a completely vanilla foo. I would like completely vanilla foo over Sid. Thank you very much. Heck, anchoring. Give me vanilla foo. Even a spare, like a spare charm rod lying around. So he's doing real well. He can do real well. Oh gosh, why? Why would you make me make this choice? Okay, Kane, you're out. I mean, obviously you're out. I think Kane has to be out. I cannot leave this behind. Really don't want to leave this behind either. Uh, Blizzard Spear, heck it. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Already got a light sword for you, so... We're just going to quickly back row glitch, and then... Lightsaber is good enough that I'm going to just use it. Grab stuff out of the inventory. Got a spare protect ring, so let's throw that on you. Lightsaber Cecil is so much better than Kane, even with White Spear. Like, Lightsaber Cecil's just so good. Ew. I am not pleased. This is a gauntlet. I should just use flame. I mean, on the bright side, I'm going to get exit out of this play. For the moon. I haven't checked top of tower yet, so that's an extra check as well. So we'll do two checks there in the tower. But I don't need to sit through any checks. We're in full face check mode now. Yeah, goodbye. Oh right, you're the single target one. I forgot. There's Cecil running exit. Rose has already got exit from the other cutscene. Edge has so much MP. He'll be fine. This fight should just die to a flame. Yep.
This one I'm gonna... Swing and virus. Just so I don't have to wait for the retreat. Okay, gauntlet done. care about that character, the only new characters available would be Porum and Tella, and no. I'm sorry, but no. Before Tower, let's face check. I'm gonna finish some face checking down here. <laughs> Baron Basement, we never checked this boss, so let's go do that now. Make sure you're not hiding here in the basement. Something that starts with Remedy. Oh, you're... Heck no. Heck no. Good thing I don't have to fight it. Can't even gate anything, so... Completely worthless. Oh my goodness, E-Ninja, thank you so much for the raid. I'm actually, like, probably closing in on the end of this seed, despite my number of objectives complete. Because there, we're running out of places where these bosses can hide. I really kind of hope something's in the tower key. Oh, there are no, there are very few- there's just the moon. And, like, these super cannon checks and package. Or these tower checks and package. That's it. There's no other places where bosses can hide at this point. Let me get you a shout-out real quick. No. First I had to reset out of Golbez, because heck no. I am not waiting for Golbez to do his thing there. I kind of wanted that to be required so that my harp trip would pay off, but yeah. I might gamble package. I don't think package is worth enough, though. Now, I mean, I'm not gonna have a great time on this seed, but that's okay. Top of tower. This is the last... Last check. On the blue planet, other than package. And giant, I guess, but giant, I feel like, doesn't count. I don't need this fight. Time to grind. Cause I'd like a little bit of a boost before I go to the moon. Uh, it's four required. But win game, yes. It's not quite recall, but I still.
Yeah, let's get Cecil out of slingshot range, then maybe I'll consider going to the moon. Yeah, that was, uh, Kaipo Guards. You could also tell because the officer said, attack. I'm not going to take this all the way to nuke or anything, I'm just going to go until we get, like, a few more levels. Nice job, Edge! Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting Edge to actually work there. Cure 4, yeah, I want Cure 4 for the moon. Okay. I think we're good. On levels. Underground is cleared. Let's just start clearing the moon. Because apparently that's where all of the bosses are. Except Octomam. <laughs> Octomam decided to hide an antlion cave. Not the brightest. Every other boss was like, we're hanging out on the moon. I'm like, that's that's a legit hiding spot. I mean, package could be like a big brain package check for a boss, but at this point, eh. There's going to be one on the moon. Like, I know for a fact there is one on the moon. Hmm. We found you! Oh, I forgot to equip you properly. Gosh darn it. Okay. Get you berserked. Virus. I forgot to swap Edge's weapon. We're gonna be swapping Edge's weapon. I kept a full moon around. I didn't keep enough other stuff around. I kept too much other stuff around. Gosh dang it. That's not who I want to berserk at all. Let's just reset this and try this again, but with better... Now that I know that you're this... Oh, I can give Fu a Nirvana staff, right? Fu? No, that's Tela only. So the Nirvana is just garbage and I should toss it. Got it. Good. Goodbye, Sirens. I don't need you anymore either. See, wines are not available this seed, which is really annoying. Yeah, no regrets about yeeting my Super Smith weapon into the Abyss, because... It's for Porum and Tella, the two characters who are gated it behind Package and Giant. Like, why would I... no. No thank you. That... Inanjo, that's really excessive. My rule of thumb is like three, bo three wines per boss maximum. Usually two wines per boss. Or, like, just 20. Just buy 20. 50 is way too many. Like, for a seed, 50 is too many. Anyway. This plague fight should go better.
we have a full moon on edge, and I actually zerked everyone properly. So edge is gonna do 5,000 damage. Cecil's helping. Gosh dang it. Uh, I think they can keep each other alive. We'll see. Can they keep each other alive? I think they can. Nope, they can't. But Edge can finish the fight. That's what matters. We did it. We beat a boss. <coughs> Great. Great meme seed. Great meme. I still think lightsaber Cecil is better. Like, I still think my Cecil is better. Overall. Yeah, it, right. Plague guarding the White Spear is just in a in a different cave. Right, we have to sit through duplicate sit again. Even I want no free is fun. Yeah, no Tella twins or Edward. I don't remember if I saved before this. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I saved. I saved, right? Okay. Yeah, because I'm not sitting through a Sura for no, no reason. I mean, yeah. You get all the good people from gated spots in vanilla anyway, or you start with them. Well, good people other than Palum. Palum is amazing. Okay, bottom of the lunar subterrain, because there's a chance this just... Gets me my go mode. There's a very good chance that my bosses are down here. I mean... Pretty is not amazing, but I mean, my last seed I ran, which was on stream, uh, Ridia kind of became the MVP of the late game.
Uh, base ready is four. Yeah, base ready is a really good anchor, but once you get her levels, she's like a garbage anchor. Nope, your Baron guards. Yeah, Palum starts with eight. But late game, she is not a great anchor. If you if you get levels on her, she's kind of garbage as an anchor. Until you get her past level 60 and then she's OP. Single target. Oh, hi Val. Oh, I need to get that full moon off of you. That's fine, we'll blink in Zerg Cecil. Tell him you're useless here. Let's get some circers swinging. Fine. Think there, we'll get a Zerk up on set on you. Yep, this is Val at Ribbon Room. But she's an objective, so I'm taking it. We'll get through this. It'll be a little slow, but we'll get through this. Two thousand hit points at a time. Oh no! Edge is gonna have even fewer hit points. I have one heal pot. Yeah, let's throw that at Fu. Make sure Fu doesn't turn to stone. Well, that's unfortunate. That destroyed the heal pot, too. Okay, not Fu, that's fine. You need to heal Fu, though. From stone, not from like actual hit points. Who's very petrified? Let's take yours off too, Rosa. I'm a little nervous about you. Perfect. He was already queued up to get rid of her uh, petrification progress. And Zerkers are gonna keep doing Zerker things. Also, I definitely haven't bought any camping gear all seed, so we're relying on like three tents to get me through this moon. It's fine. Rose has got cure four. There we go. Val is done. Do I bother with these chests? I mean, they have a decent chance of giving a crystal sword, so... Sure. One more boss and then we're done. Yeah, we're just gonna kinda cure four up. A bit. Got two more bosses down here, two in the giant plus package. And um, there's two different hits that I can get. Either Mom Bomb or Mylon. I'm hoping for Mylon, honestly. I don't really want to fight Mom Bomb. But I will fight whoever I find. You know, in the spirit of the club. Who are you? Oh, you're not? 
Oh. Are you... You missed? Could it be? I want to say your mom bomb. Oh no, your elements. Okay, I don't need to fight you then. Like, you're resisting wholly. That seems weird. Okay, Crystal Sword Alter Time. This is my one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Okay, we're done. I found my one and friends. We're good. Took me a second for that to register that Oh yes, this is the this is the boss I'm looking for. So, Mom Bomb successfully evaded being seen today. There we go, that should wipe out all the little ones. Little ones I don't really care about, now let's just do a bunch of damage. Oh no. Anyway, throw a nuke because nothing matters anymore, Foo. Literally, just do all the damage you can. Or we can get this script now. That's fine. Okay. Weak, I don't care. I don't care that you learned weak, Palum. We're done. No. Stop it. I'm going to call that a 132.19. Let's find this async room. I'm at this. Kind of garbage time, honestly. I did everything. I think I took the same order as everyone else.
Oh, mom bomb was at CPU. Considering how much I cleared, I feel like my time is fine. Ever other people like didn't do the hook route or something, you know? Thanks to the GG's Aaron War. Oh my goodness. That was a very full clear of a seed. I know that the tower had to lead to basically the crystal and the tails in some capacity. Is why he didn't sit through those. Mom bomb got away today. Mom bomb chose a very good hiding spot. Apparently, Bygen was at Giant One. So if we mark off Bygen and Mom bomb, that leaves what? Who else? Ruby or can Ruby Canazo or? Karate had to have been Mist Cave. And then another one would have had to have been uh, the other one. Do I have a save on the blue planet? No, but this is close enough. So yeah, Bygen and Mom Bomb were giant. So one of the other one of these was at package, one of them was at uh Mist Cave. Thanks to GGZ Ninja. Still have no idea who who was the boss in Mist Cave, but I don't really care. <laughs> 